Froknowsphoto.com. Let's talk about focusing modes. Everybody's been asking me, what mode do I set my camera on? What mode do I set the focus on? There's AFS for single. There's AFC for continuous. What do they each mean? And then there is, do I leave it uh, so that it jumps from focusing point to focusing point? Or do I make it so that it's 3D focusing? Or that it's focus tracking? So what is each one? Well, here in the D3100, we can see here on the screen, there is AFS, which is single focus. That means you focus and it locks. And if you move and your finger is halfway down on the button, the focus isn't going to move. Then you have AFC, which stands for AF continuous. That means as long as your finger's held halfway down, it's constantly going to focus wherever your focusing point is. Now when I'm shooting, I always select my own focusing point. I like to check, or I like to be telling the camera where I want it to focus. If I'm in continuous, I'm always moving, looking for the face of the person, always on the eyes, but in sports, usually it's going to be the chest because they're gonna be on the same plane. The eyes and the chest are gonna be pretty much the same place. So, when I am in continuous, there's 3D focus tracking. There is the one that allows, what do they call it? Let's see what they call it in here. They call this, what's it, dynamic area AF. You've got single point AF, dynamic area AF, auto area AF, never use that. Actually, the only time you use that is if you really have to use live view and you want to get it right, that's going to focus on what's ever closer to you. And then there's 3D focus tracking. I leave it on dynamic area AF most of the time. What dynamic area AF does is it sees your focusing point. And if the subject moves out of that focusing point, it uses data from the surrounding focusing points to then shift your focus to get it right. That's what I like. 3D tracking, I tried using it, and all it looked like was a bouncing red dot going around and around and around. And what I didn't like is it would focus on whatever was closest to the camera. So if it's the foot, it's the foot. That's the horn. But I don't want to focus on the foot. I want to focus up on the chest, up on the face, and that's where it is. So that's why I use the dynamic area focus, because it allows me to do what I want. So let's look at some of the other focusing modes. AF continuous and AF single, or AFA in a lot of these cameras is AF auto. It's gonna select whatever it thinks it should select. I never recommend doing anything in auto like that, especially as important as the focus. Where I use AF single is if I'm doing a portrait where the subject isn't moving a lot, they are going to not be moving, which means that I don't need to focus track them. I lock in on the eye when I'm shooting portraits. I'm, you don't even have to move your focusing point. You can lock in and recompose. I always recompose or refocus before I shoot. I'm always locking in. That's why I leave the beep on. You hear the beep, I like hearing it because that lets me know that it's really locked in and ready to shoot. I may turn it off when I'm shooting weddings in the church or some things like that, but I really always leave the beep on. So, in single, you wanna shoot portraits, um, subjects that aren't moving, so landscapes, and let's see, still lifes. Those are things where you would use the, con the single focus. Wow, it's cold in here. Anyway, single focus. Where do you use continuous? Use continuous with moving objects, fast moving objects, sports, cars, horses, people running. Those are things you want to focus on and they have the focus track. If somebody's running towards you, you're not gonna be able to focus on single. You focus with continuous. And that's why I talk about using dynamic area focus, which takes a reading from all the different focusing points, and if your subject moves out of the center focus point to the right focus point, it's going to keep tracking them. That's why I leave that on. And don't leave on single focus point, because the single focus point means if you're focused on them and they move, it's not going to continue to focus on them out of those other points. So that's why I stay the majority of the time in continuous, uh, in, in dynamic area focus, because that is what I want. I want it to track my subjects, especially in concerts. If the guy's moving and he's back and forth, I want it to focus in on the musician without, you know, I don't want to miss the focus. That's why I don't use single a lot of the times, unless the subject is just sitting there. So single, 
people aren't really moving or your subjects aren't moving, continuous, they are moving. And that brings us to that 3D tracking again. 3D tracking, I just don't like it because it's picking a focusing point that it thinks it should focus on. When I first tested it out in the D3, and I was shooting hockey, it focused on the boards behind, it focused on the foot, it focused on the glove, it focused on the knee, it focused on the hand. You, it, it's not where I want it to focus. In sports, I'm focusing on the chest, I'm focusing on the face if I can, because that's usually gonna be on the same plane. So that's what I'm looking for. That's the different focusing points, and that's what you should work with. Continuous moving subjects that you need to track. Single, subjects aren't moving, portraits, landscapes, uh, inanimate objects, so that's it. Jared Poland, fro knows photo.com. See ya.